candidates brought in by Pierre Polyev over the past number of by-elections to understand what kind of party he is really building. They've been either... I mean, this goes beyond me and the fact that I was targeted last night at, at this event. This increases political violence against everyone who runs for office in this country, whether they're doing it at the municipal level, at the provincial level, or at the federal level. Welcome to the A News Network. Now we're going to hear Trudeau talk about his retreat. And then uh, within a couple of days, a couple of days before, we have Stephen very upset about saying political violence and can't name it. And is, later in the video, they're going to talk about how upset they are and it has no place in Canada. And his own boss, leader, does exactly that. So let's have a listen of the whole thing. And we're going to talk about Trudeau's 2-4 comment. And it's a bit unfortunate how he, uh, um, he used that word, but let's have a listen to what that word means and how he said it. The term 2-4 came up, and in Canada, and more specifically in Ontario, it refers to a case of 24 beers, a 2-4. Or you can say uh, May 2-4 weekend, which is sort of a pun on, you know, the Victoria holiday and a 2-4. So that's really where that term comes from, but uh, Tudor's going to use it in a term for something else, and it's not the one that is what is on the internet more commonly used. So let's have a listen to both. Either and we'll go through it. insiders or ideologues or both. To break down this insiders and ideologues, let's break this down for me. I need this for myself here. The insiders, they are inside the conservative government fundraising or just part of like maybe they volunteered for the for the party in the past or, or that type of thing and the ideologues are are usually that they're passionate about the conservative um party and the things that they stand for and to me i don't know isn't that what you want someone that has both anyways um so I don't know. I don't know why he's making a big deal and doing it, but that that's what he's referring to. Now let's listen to what the other term of it can be used for. He got 760 on his SATs, graduated from SUNY Cortland. Frank Rossitano was every copy of Blacktail magazine ever published. J.D. Lutz, thyroid problem. James Spurlock, but we call him twofer because with him you get a two for one. He's a black guy and a Harvard guy. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know. Trudeau meant the two for one as the insider and the ideologue, but I could see that and it means nothing in, in this situation, what he said, in my opinion. But it's really, un what's unfortunate is if this was the other way around and a conservative did that, I guarantee the CBC and all the mainstream news and even Trudeau, just like that uh, term that he used, would be so on top of it and on him and bring this up for the next two years. That's really the difference on here that uh, that i see but i don't think it it's just unfortunate of uh, i don't want to say of what happened but let's listen to the rest of this because there is more going on of, of what it is uh, Trudeau said let's have a listen that the conservatives never leave room to air differences between their colleagues they want to silence their caucus and give out orders from the top let me take a look at the candidates brought in by Pierre Polyev over the past number of by-elections to understand what kind of party he is really building. They've been... As my friend and colleague Randy said, like, we can have differences of opinion. We can bang our fist on, on, on the table when, when, when we meet. We can have strong disagreement. But, but, but to, to, to incite violence against people who disagree with you, that's not how things should be done in can Canada. Can clarify what is the violence? What is the violence? That I, I think the minister also said this in French. What is the violence that they are bringing to Canada? What is the political violence that you're talking about? Just to be very clear. Well, to put, to, to put a, a target on, on someone's back. I agree. And you just said we can have strong disagreements and bang on the table or whatever and frustration. So how come your boss doesn't do it, Stephen? And we're going to get Randy jumping in here like the bulldog that he is to throwing everything out there, every every phobia imaginable just to shut down conversation. But Stephen, this is your boss. This is the guy right here. He just said it like two days after you said it. And you don't even have an example of of, of your violence and maybe, you know, whatever you see it like that, but he just did it. So let's keep going. Either insiders or ideologues or both. 
The conservative elected in Manitoba's recent by-election is openly and they welcomed Robin Baber as a candidate in the GTA, even though his extremism got him kicked out of Ontario's conservative party. Their new MP in Oxford was a hand-picked insider who'd never been to the riding. And now, Pierre Polyev's new candidate in Durham is a twofer. He's both an ideologue and an insider. What he's not is someone who has lived and served in the community for years. This is a candidate who Polyev expects will do his bidding in the riding, will be Ottawa's voice, Pierre Polyev's voice, in Durham, instead of being Durham's voice in Ottawa. What about Newfoundland's voice in Ottawa? Because your, your man there, Ken McDonald, said that uh, his constituents said that uh, there should be a leadership review. So uh, how come now all of a sudden, well, Ken McDonald, you won't let him have his voice in, uh, in, New in Newfoundland? So why is that the case? And he's the guy that voted for the carbon tax that you caved in because, you know, they, they got climate change fixed over there. So, you know, it's a bit of a hypocrisy here, too. You know, so the voice is not being heard in the Ottawa. Well, you're doing the same thing here. You're not letting him have his voice because you should have a leadership review and Jagmeet. Let's keep going. And that, that other part, too, with, you know, he's attacking four MPs targeting the leader. Oh, I don't like this and this. And what about all the differences? None of that matters anymore, right? Let's keep going. And that's especially clear when you compare their candidate to our guy, Robert Rock, who, to our guy, Robert Rock, who has grown up, lived, and served in Durham for years as an engaged community leader, as someone who is excited to bring the voices, the concerns, the ambitions of Durham to right here in Ottawa, to right here in this caucus. See, over the past number of by-elections, this party has been focused on making sure we get the right voices to represent their communities, to meet Canadians where they are, and to solve the challenges they're facing. Probably why our shares in the by-elections, particularly in conservative writings, keep going up, and Pierre Polyev's shares keep going down, because they, Pierre Polyev is focused on bringing his party further to the right, while we are focused on meeting Canadians where they are, where they need us to be for them. I mean, as we all return to Ottawa to do the work of the coming parliamentary session, we face a lot of responsibilities, a lot of different challenges, but our fundamental job, I've said a few times, as I've been saying since 2015, is to be the voice of your community here in Ottawa and not the other way around. Et vous tous, vous avez travaillé. Trudeau is a very good speaker. He's not. I don't think he's reading off a piece of paper. And inspirational is, uh, yeah, he's he's doing it, but it's all BS. But he is. He's very good at. See the sleeves rolled up. He's up for business. He means business. You know, it's it's really a good a good look for him, and it's all staged in my opinion. So anyway, I guess you got to do that uh, rah rah for the leaders. And, and what is it? And uh, I understand he's going to Hawaii in two weeks, anyways, in February. So he, surprisingly, he doesn't have much of a tan for coming back from uh, Jamaica. I would thought there would have been more. Anyway, best of goodbyes. I hope you liked it, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.